Hi guys, it's Denise. It is Friday, October 7th. It is a beautiful, beautiful fall day here in Maryland and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I went to uh, the Dollar Tree in Westminster. The pits. God, when am I going to learn my lesson? Okay, the reason why I stopped in, I had to take something to the UPS store. Uh, we had a return from Amazon. So, um, and it's right next to the Dollar Tree. So I went in there, nothing, horrible, awful, nothing. Um, and then I wanted to run into Walmart in Westminster. I picked up a pair of pajamas. They have their uh, pajamas right now for like three, four, and like say $7, something like that. So I grabbed myself up some pajamas. And then I got in the van and I drove to Gettysburg because... They have a great Dollar Tree and um, a pretty nice, a pretty good nice Walmart. So let me show you what I picked up at the Dollar Tree in Gettysburg. The majority of my items are food. I, that's what I uh, I like to buy at the Dollar Tree, um, and I did buy some personal items and I think one thing for the little boy. So I always pick up these napkins. This is 150 napkins and. Um, this is like the cheapest I can find for napkins. I think maybe at uh, Food Lion they have the Cha-Ching brand, but I don't, I think it's less napkins. So I grabbed up my uh, standard packet package of napkins. And this is another thing. Okay, when I go to um, this Dollar Tree in Gettysburg, look at how this lovely uh, lady packaged my cleaner in with my stuff. She wrapped it in newspaper. So it wouldn't like, I don't know, it's a little protectant so it wouldn't leak in my bag if it was uh, open. She checked all the seals. <sighs> I mean, get it together, Westminster. Get it together. So I also picked up the Ajax. This is my favorite and I'm probably going to mop my floor today. Um, Ajax all-purpose cleaner. This is the lime with baking soda and it smells so, so good. Um, I picked up the Sure and Fresh Feminine Wash. Um, I haven't had any, and um, I don't know. This is a, usually a staple that I, I have in my shower, but I haven't had it recently, so I need to pick that up. Um, let me see. This I thought was super cute. I do have a bunch of these almost like Sherpa material, but this one is pretty thin. It's almost like, um, I don't know, yeah, like teddy bear. Like teddy bear, so I grabbed this one up. There's no... There's no uh, brand name or anything like that on it. This weekend we're going to my in-laws and um, we're actually going to, it's my father-in-law's 90th birthday party. He won't be 90 until December, but my mother-in-law is trying to do something early, which I think is great because the holidays come around and, and you know, you're busy. So I'm going to bring this. I uh, My husband ordered for me from Amazon um, a uh, shacket, but like a long one and it has this color in it and it's supposed to be chilly. By Sunday today is like almost 80 degrees and I think it's like maybe the last warm day I don't know um, in October so uh, they have these really really cute headbands so I grabbed myself up one of those um, so tonight we are having we are making pizza Aldi sells um, raw pizza dough so you you buy it you can freeze it whatever so I'll split it up I think I can get like two to three small pizzas out of one of the pizza doughs. So I picked up the um, Valetti's pizza sauce, which is super yummy. I usually put that in the boys' lunch when we do uh, mozzarella sticks. So I picked up two of the Valetti's, and these do not expire until September of 23. And on my pizza, I'm going to have asparagus. So I grabbed these. This is the MC Trader Tender Green Asparagus. And wow, look at the expiration date on that one. May of 2026. Holy moly. That's like, that's great. That is actually really, really great. And that says, wait, freshly packed, gluten-free. Um, so yeah, I thought I would get some. I've got some olive oil that's got Italian seasoning in it. And then I'm going to put the um, asparagus on it and mushroom and maybe some some onion. So I also picked up the Pampa mushrooms, pieces and stems. Let's see, I don't know where this expiration date is on here. Somewhere. Normally it's right on the lid, but I don't see it. Um, so I grabbed two jars of that. And I actually like these jars. We've been saving a lot of them um, just to use them for certain things. But um, 
I don't know, maybe, maybe I will. Like this isn't actually, it's an actual good size to do like a little parfait or something in. So I grabbed up those and then I thought this was my big score right here. I found the Adobo Steak Burrito Bowl by Old El Paso. I grabbed two of these and this is the first time I've seen it in that store. I've seen um, some of the ladies haul it and it says it has, the kit contains cilantro, lime, white rice, mild adobo seasoning mix, mild um, queso blanco sauce. So it says just add steak and toppings. So that is awesome. Where's the expiration date on here? Uh, this one expires December of 22, but we'll eat this, I'm sure, well before then. And like I said, I grabbed up two of those. I also picked up two of the Old El Paso Street Taco Kit. And this is the barbacoa beef. And the kit includes 12 street taco flour tortillas, the mild uh, barbacoa seasoning sauce, and mild salsa verde. Prepare in your slow cooker or pressure cooker. Hmm. That sounds all awesome. It says just add beef, onion, vinegar, and toppings. So I grabbed up two packages of those. I also picked up some of the pumpkin spice Oreos. I'm just gonna put this aside for me and uh, the little boys, try those out. I, mean, I don't know, they might be good, they might not. I'm not really, not really sure. I picked up four packages of the Sunny D. And when I see those there, I normally like to grab those for them. And they kind of go through them fairly quickly. Uh, so like I said, I think I got four packs four packs of those. I also picked up some freezer items because they have a good freezer. I picked up the Snaps Cream Cheese Pepper Bites. So those are supposed to be like uh, poppers. It says real cream cheese, real cream cheese and jalapeno with special blends of spices nestled in a golden crisp breading. So I grabbed up those and again have that and a big salad or you know uh, cut up some, uh, steam some vegetables to go along with it. So I grabbed up that. Sorry about that. And then I grabbed our favorite. This is one of our favorite things to buy at the Dollar Tree. This is the Jennifer, Jennifer's Gardens traditional spring roll, uh, traditional vegetable spring rolls. And these are so, so good. We put them in the air fryer and um, I usually make maybe two packages for my family and we have leftovers. So I grabbed one, two, three, four of those. And then I grabbed some stir fry vegetables because you could really even have those uh, steam some rice and some stir fry uh, vegetables. And there you go, you have dinner, basically have dinner. And then let's see, I picked up these Yardley uh, deep cleaning facial towelettes. I am out of my um, I usually use these at night when I take my makeup off and I was out and I don't know if I haven't paid attention to this or not, but, um, I saw the Yardley and I wanted to give it a try. I've tried their soaps and things like that, but this is the first time I have, I will be trying their facial wipes. So I grabbed two packages of those and then I grabbed this. I thought this was super cool. And this is for both boys. It is a Crayola, uh, Star Wars, the Mandalorian, um, coloring book. It says it includes full color poster, 28 pages and one poster. I mean, that's awesome. This is really nice. This is a Disney product. I mean, it's it's packaged. It is packaged. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. That actually makes a, a pretty nice, a pretty nice gift. Um, so guys, I think that's it. Like I said, I am hopefully going to the Dollar Tree this weekend because we're gonna be uh, just you know, for the evening. We're gonna be we're gonna be out. And um, I hope I'm lucky. I probably won't make it to the Dollar Tree in um, Hollywood, Maryland, near my in-laws, um, just because I don't think we're going to be going that far out unless my husband wants to be especially nice and head over that way. But guys, that's it. Let me look around. When I went to Walmart, I, like I said, I found um, pajamas. They had their 18 packs of hangers for two bucks. So I grabbed three packages of hangers. Um, so the rest of the day, I'm just going to be cleaning up and getting ready for the weekend. And, um, I think that's it. So guys, this, um, my name is Denise. This is Denise's Halls. I do, um, 
shopping shopping videos, I go to the Dollar Tree, I go to Walmart, and I go to Aldi, and I love telling everybody about the things that I find. So um, those of you who have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. And for those of you who have not yet done so, I would love it. I would absolutely love for you to do that. Um, I'm trying to rebuild my channel, and I'm, I'm having a great time doing it. So guys, um, enjoy this beautiful, like I said, in Maryland today, it is phenomenal. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.